Today we have a special guest who leads two out-of-the-box ministries. She has hosted a radio broadcast that has been on the air for 15 years, as well as a blessing of the bike ceremony. Thank you so much for coming, Reverend Carol. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your radio program, Faith Break. Faith Break began 15 years ago as an idea that I had after receiving from United Methodist Communications a big envelope that had 30 and 60 second spots in it, scripts. And I took that idea to our board at church. And on the third try, they finally decided that if I was going to talk about it forever, that they might <laughs> as well go ahead and try it. So we uh, began broadcasting on classic rock uh, at a radio station, Q94 Classic Rock in Altoona. And God led us to the right station and to the right people. I've had the same producers now for the past 15 years. And we have not only developed a wonderful relationship for the broadcast, but also uh, between myself and the station, I am now the chaplain of uh, the uh, radio campus in Altoona. Oh. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of topics do you discuss on Faith Break? I go a uh, wide variety of topics. Uh, mostly I try to friend, uh, friendly, is that a word, uh, remind people that God is present in their lives no matter what their situation is. So I would cover anything from family situations to work situations to spiritual situations. Uh, so I just try to cover it all. <laughs> Do you have any specific times that people have said, Faith Breaks really helped me? Yes, all the time. Uh, in fact, I can't go out of the house and go shopping or go to a restaurant without usually someone approaching me and asking me if I'm Reverend Carol because they've heard Faith Break on the radio. <laughs> and they most of the time will tell me that it has helped them, but in those situations, they don't go into detail. Mm -hmm. You said there was a story, actually, that one of the women that heard your radio broadcast hadn't been at church for a while, but then came back to church. Yes, she um, works at Lowe's, and when we were, uh, my husband was in there shopping, he always is promoting Faith Break and ask if they, if uh, she had heard it, and of course she had, and she said, well, I'm, he said, I'm Reverend Carol's husband, <laughs> and gave her a card, and she wanted to meet me. So the next time we went shopping at Lowe's, he introduced me to her, and she was so excited, and I was really excited to meet her, too. That really made me feel good that... Mm -hmm. Uh, it, she had been helped and uh, she decided to start coming to one of our churches and actually join the church and has been very faithful ever since. That's so great. Mm -hmm. So um, you also have another unique ministry that is a blessing of the bikes ceremony. How did that all get started? Well, actually, uh, Blessing of the Bikes happens in our area uh, in the spring at several different churches. Okay. And we thought we would give it a try after I got my bike <laughs> and several of the people in our congregations have bikes. We decided that would be a fun Sunday afternoon service to have. So we have a pavilion at our church, and we all gather there at the pavilion. It's kind of neat to watch the uh, bikes all start coming in because we're in an open space and have them come in and up in and park for uh, the actual ceremony. So I keep it very simple, and I greet everyone. And they're, of course, all out looking at each other's bikes because <laughs> everybody wants to know what kind of bike that someone else has. Mm -hmm. And, of course, Reverend Carol's bike, the Spider, is taking uh, center stage right now. <laughs> but after we uh, have some time together, we have a prayer and, and visit, and, and I have a blessing with them for each bike uh, individual. Now, it's not just 
uh, motorcycles, though. Okay. The kids bring their tricycles. Oh, okay. And this year, I told them if it had wheels, they could bring it. <laughs> so we had skateboards and oh, <laughs> all kinds <laughs> of uh, uh, ways to get around on wheels. And everybody gets a card that they have been blessed. And I especially like to point out that not only are we blessing the bikes, we are blessing the people and reminding them that God is riding with them and we pray for their safety. How do you think that reaching out to motorcyclists has helped people to come back to church and to the faith? Well, you know what? i am now got a new reputation. <laughs> <laughs> I am now uh, that woman preacher in Juniata that rides a bike. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. It's been uh, really uh, good for me and for the church. I do other blessings like uh, uh, Bergmeier has a big blessing. He's one of the people who help sponsor Faith Breaks. Uh, businessman in Altoona with around 700 bikes or so that ride and oh, wow. invited me to come to do the blessing of the bikes which gives me an opportunity to go around and talk to different people there and uh, it has well, I've been blessed as much as they have been blessed. And people, uh, I think, begin to think about it a little bit more and helps them be not, maybe not so nervous about going back to church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for thinking about ministries that you can reach out into the community and new ways of, of, of uh, sharing the gospel with people. Yes. And thank you for watching. So you can comment on my Facebook page or my blog at sesquihannaexpress.blogspot.com.